Hi, insert name here. So we all know the pilgrims sailed across the ocean blue on a ship called the Mayflower. Laden with cans of cranberry sauce, and that's why we have Thanksgiving. What you may not know is that there was another boat on that epic voyage. Yep, a ship called the Speedwell set sail with the Mayflower. That's right. The last of the tall black pilgrim hats were brought on board, the anchors were raised, and with the wind in their sails and their cargo holds full of cranberry sauce, these two small but determined ships set sail for the new world. Everything was going great. If pilgrims drank champagne, there would have been corks aplenty on the deck. Only while someone was checking on the cranberry sauce, they noticed a leak. Understanding the reason why they might have gotten such a good deal on the speedwell, they turned around and everybody sailed back to port. No problem. They fixed the leak and then off they sailed, wind in their sails, holds full of cranberry sauce and the speedwell, another leak. That's okay. These things happen. They just go back to port and plug up the new hole. And they did. Easy peasy. Then wind in their sails and cargo holds full of cranberry sauce, the speedwell and the mayflower set sail for their new life in the new world. 200 miles out, the head pilgrim guys were sneaking a couple of glasses of champagne together below deck. They were about to start rocking some of their favorite hymns when someone noticed their socks were wet. Now, these guys wore socks that went up to their knees, so they were really wet. So turning around and a little nervous they were going to lose that cranberry sauce, they limped back to port. And they got there. The champagne and hymns were put on hold. Everyone denied having anything to do with buying the boat. And all the Speedwell's cranberry sauce was moved onto the Mayflower. A team of pilgrims was left behind to find the guy that had sold them the Speedwell. Well, and the rest of the pilgrims, hats on deck, wind in sails, and cranberry sauce in cargo hold, set sail for the new world. And they got there. They arrived in the new world in the dead of winter. The cranberry sauce was frozen, so half of them died before spring. <laughs> Wow, no wonder they don't tell you the whole Thanksgiving story in kindergarten. It's really depressing. Anyway, I love cranberry sauce. And if there's anything to be learned from the pilgrims, it's always do a thorough inspection before you buy. Now, this is the time I take my crazy rambling story and tie it into our music or live shows or our new full dome production, you know, like the sphere in Vegas, and tell you why they are epic and fun and are completely watertight. And like the Speedwell, at least the first three times, I'm not giving up. So here it is. We make music, movies, live events, books, and other stuff that tells stories, only with a little twist. Nope, that's not true. We tell weird, wacky, and completely twisted versions of stories like Alice in Wonderland, Peter Pan, The Phantom of the Opera, and more. It's kind of like having a backstage pass to a bizarro version of the Eras Tour, inspired by Edward Scissorhands that had a baby with Rocky Horror, Princess Bride, and Spinal Tap. All right, that's it. Victoria's yelling that the can of cranberry sauce needs to be opened so it can breathe, and I need to go buy another pumpkin pie because I may have eaten the one I bought last night. That's it. I'm not going to get all mushy. See ya, Kevin. P.S. The website has a beautiful Happy Thanksgiving banner strung across a very lovely dining table decorated with little paper pilgrims, candles, and champagne. The socials won't take off that stupid pilgrim hat. <laughs>